My name is Tommy Catherine Cheatham Gray. And the reason I'm named Tommy is because my parents were looking for a boy. And the boy didn't come, it was me, of course. My father served in World War I. And he was just in the infantry, but he served. And my uh, children, I had two sons, and the eldest one, he served in the uh, uh, military, and he loved it, and he stayed in for a good while. And the third one, he just loved that military. On December 7, 1941, Japan, like its infamous Axis partners, struck first and declared war afterwards. Costly to our Navy was the loss of war vessels, airplanes and equipment, but more costly to Japan was the effectiveness of its foul attack in immediately unifying America in its determination to fight and win the war thrust upon it and to win the peace that will follow. I entered the military because they needed nurses in World War II real bad and they had put in a petition for it. Any nurse that we can get that's an RN and qualified, we want you. So I just said, well, if I'm ever wanted, I'm gonna be wanted now. So I went in and I passed like flying colors. So I ended up in the Army Nurse Corps. And I was stationed in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I wasn't there long, I had my basic training there. And then when I went into the military, I went in as just a regular, 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 like everybody else. But nurses were promoted because we were needed and they gave us a second lieutenant. So I was a second lieutenant and I'm telling you that carried a lot of load and I, would, I used it. <laughs> but I really enjoyed my time in the service. It was just wonderful. And the boys were just perfect. My boys on my ward, we had about 30 something, and they were paralyzed, every one of them, either from their neck down or their waist down or their nipples down. And so we had to do everything for them. They were willing to serve again if they had to, if they could. And uh, we just, we just gave them every bit of attention that we could because that was real bad disease to be paralyzed. But we got them up in chairs, we put them on a, a bus, I mean the back of a truck, we took them into the dime store to use their money, that, you know, 10 cents at the time, and we just took them everywhere. And they loved us to death, and we loved them. Well, one of them uh, in particular lived in North Carolina, and that was the nearest state to me of the ones that I had nursed. So I got my husband to take me one Sunday, and we went there to hunt him, and we found him. And he lived in this community, and uh, he was so thrilled to see me. Of course, he was still paralyzed and would be the rest of his life. But we had a wonderful reunion, and it was worth the trip. I just had a wonderful life in the military because I loved it. I loved the marching, I loved the strict uh, discipline, I loved everything about it. Every time I see a soldier, it does something to me inside, I can't help it. I'm sorry, see? <laughs> but uh, anyway, I would serve again if I had to. That's how much I think of my country.